Greetings, everyone. This is Shadow Mario 41. Let's do something completely different. Let's play Hexen. Hexen is a shooter slash puzzle game for the N64, mostly a first-person shooter. And let's get right into it. Let's start a new game, shall we? Um, you can be three classes in this game. Obviously, you can see the advantages and disadvantages for each of them. Uh, I'm going to be the fighter for this game. I think the cleric is a little slow, you know, starts off really slow, and the mage is really hard to use. So I'm going to be the fighter. The fighter is my favorite class. And I'm going to play on Berserker. If I play on the hardest difficulty, the enemies move at double speed, and I really don't want to deal with that. So we're going to play on Berserker. That should be fine. So here is the first level of Hexen. Uh, this is sort of the tutorial level. So it's kind of nice that they give us a little tutorial. And here's our first weapon, our fist. That's right. Meet pain, left fist, and agony, the right fist, even though we only punch with one hand. Um, those first enemies that we just saw were Ettens. Uh, Ettens are kind of like the, the grunts, the basic, basic enemies of this game. The two-headed troll guys that carry around maces and try to hit you. Uh, they're very easy to deal with, so... We don't have to worry about them, but they're the most common enemy. We'll be seeing plenty, plenty of them. Let's grab that. That's a Fletchette. I believe I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Fletchettes do different things for different classes. With the fighter, he can throw it as a grenade and have it explode if it hits something. Or just detonate after a certain amount of time after, uh, after he throws it. It doesn't hit anything. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we'll be using a lot of those later, but now we have to deal with stupid Ettens. Die! Thank you. Alright, there should be some items here. Oh, that's where you go next. I don't want to go down there yet. I want to... Oh, not going there. Break open some glass. That's a quartz flask. Quartz Flask will restore your health by 25 points. And yeah, like I said, this is the winnowing hall, sort of the tutorial level. Hey, there's an Etten inside the glass. Sort of the tutorial level of the game. There are five episodes in this game, five levels. You might be saying, well, that's not very much. How can a game have five levels? Well, the levels are very long because the levels are pretty much hubs that are connected to other sub-levels, sort of. Kind of hard to explain, but you'll see what I mean when we get into it. And it does involve some pretty complex uh, puzzle solving, for a first-person shooter anyway. I mean, I guess nothing... Well, before, like, Metroid Prime and stuff like that, this was the most puzzles you got out of a first-person shooter. This game, by the way, is a sequel to Heretech. Heretech was a PC game, and this was originally a PC game, but I'm playing the... Nintendo 64 port, and ow, he hit me. Die. What's in there? Another quartz flask. Good. And here we have our first key, the emerald key, but that activates a little trap that we have to walk through. So we gotta wait till the doors open. And run. So yeah, Hexen, sequel to Heretech. Originally released for the PC. I don't really want to go into a big story about it, like all the plot details, because there really isn't much plot, to be honest. Well, there is, but at the same time, it's a very simple plot. Basically, there are three serpent riders that are threatening the world. Uh, we killed the first one, Disparal, in Heretech. But in this game, we're after Korax, the second serpent rider, who is a lot stronger than Disparal. So, uh, that's pretty much the plot summed up in one sentence. Because <laughs> at, at the end of the first game, you, like, didn't know that there were three Serpent Riders. You thought that he was the only one. And it's like, oh, by the way, there's two guys that are really, really powerful. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks for letting me know now, you know? But, uh, Heretech, the first game in the series, actually didn't feature all these stupid birds. I hate these birds. Uh, I believe their names are Arafrits or Afrits, but we're just going to call them annoying, flying, fiery birds. I don't know, I'll probably think of all different names for them during this Let's Play, but they are very annoying, especially for the fighter, because you can't really combat them effectively until you get a ranged weapon, and the fist obviously isn't much of a ranged weapon. 
even though the fists are very effective. Stupid ends. So, yeah, this was a game that I used to play uh, a while ago, and I could never get past, like, the, the second episode, because I just couldn't figure it out as a kid. I mean, not that the puzzles are that hard, it's just that, I guess as a kid, I was more used to, like, the Doom shooter games, where you just, like, go and wipe out a massive horde of enemies and not really have to solve any puzzles. But, uh, the puzzles in this game can get a little complicated. Most of them are pretty simple, though. I mean, the hub puzzles are pretty tough, but there's a lot of sub-puzzles in a level that are pretty easy. So basically all we do in the winning hall is we ring the bell, then we can backtrack over here, and there's, there's going to be a bunch of enemies over here, including stupid birds. Oh, he killed them with one punch. Take them down in one shot. Die. Yeah, I love punching things. That's why I love to be the fighter. You just beat stuff up. I love it. Alright, so we're pretty much done with the winnowing hall. Let's go in the portal, and that just leads back to the level, and let's get out of here. Alright, this is the first actual episode, the Seven Portals. Seven Portals is the first hub of the game, and when we enter each hub, we get a message from Korax. This is probably, you know, if one thing came out of this game, if one, like, famous quote or line, this is it right here, what Korax is about to say. That's Korax, by the way. You know what? I'm actually not ready to die. I'm ready to kick some ass. So let's get on with it. Come on, Korax, go away. But yeah, at the beginning of every hub, he'll taunt you like that. Let's take out these stupid birds. And stupid Ettons. They're gonna die too. I just love punching things. That's what's so great about the fighter class. There's so many, like, melee weapons, and you just go postal on these enemies and just beat them to a pulp. I mean, the mage has some pretty cool weapons, too, uh, for ranged attacks. But, uh, the fighter is just, like, classic beat -em up Boom. What's more satisfying than punching an enemy to death? Not too much. Oh, there's another guy. Let's get more flechettes. I might just call them flasks from now on, because that's kind of a bothersome name. It's kind of a long name. Too many syllables. Oh, something's shooting me. Oh, these stupid birds in here. Aha, uh -huh. I can hit you through the little opening, but you can't hit me. Aha. Uh -huh. One more. Come on, get in. Get over here. Ready to go. Stupid bird. There we go. He's dead. That's good that we got rid of him now. Alright, so I don't really want to get much further into the seven portals in our first uh, video, but here's the objective. Oh, there's more ends back here. Forget about that. The objective is to get this big door open. But to do that, of course, we'll have to travel through all six of these little uh, doors. Three on this side, three on this side. And first we're going to start over here by pulling the switch and opening this door to a Chaos Serpent. Three Chaos Serpents, holy crap. I forgot about that was three of them. Let's use some flashets, some flasks. Ow. Uh-oh, that one bounced back. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah! I mean, even more satisfying about killing Chaos Serpents, they like burst apart when you kill them. Yeah, it punched him to death. Die. Alright, this lift lowered, and there's some health on it, so that's good. Some quartz flasks. Where are those stupid Ettons? I hear them, but I don't see them. Oh well, no big deal. So, what's behind here? Oh, uh, just the first, uh first portal, I guess, the first of the seven portals. The three sub-levels of the seven portals are the Guardian of Ice, Guardian of Steel, and Guardian of Fire. So the first one we'll be going to in the next video is the Guardian of Ice.
And like I said, uh, this is completely remade version of the PC game. Even all the music is redone and everything, so they really, you know, did a nice job on completely remaking this game. So, in the next video of Let's Play Hexen, we will start the Seven Portals and travel to the Guardian of Ice. This is Shadow Mario 41. Ciao.